Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are back in a different game. We are in Enemy Front, an FPS, basically focusing around the Warsaw Uprising in World War II. Now, this game is not a very good game. Uh, it was panned after release by a lot of critics, and, well, we'll go through why, basically, during the game. I have played through it quite a few times. Uh, just because, even though it has its issues, it's still a World War II FPS, the guns still sound nice, the music's nice, everything like that. I will say before we start, though, it is the game which made me lose faith in video or, well, classic video game journalism. Uh, nowadays, I stick much more to YouTube videos and stuff, so and even Twitch, so I can actually see games, and also, you know, basically pick out... Uh, whose opinions I, you know, not not just agree with, or most of the time I actually disagree with, but they generally give their honest opinion. There was a lot of articles written by this, I may even leave some in the description if I can still find them, uh, basically hyping the game, and this whole hype journalism crap really, really annoys me. And so, yeah, this, this was a game which uh, made me lose faith in all of that stuff. And, you know, I don't see, I don't see, uh, why it has to be there in the first place. Let the user decide. Let the review speak for itself, instead of everything before it. But anyway, let's get in. Single player. Uh, we will go new game. Uh, yep. I believe that we should start from the beginning, obviously, with a playthrough. And we're gonna play on Expert. Now, generally, I stay near the easy medium, so as I'm commentating, uh, it actually, you know, it's it's a lot easier to talk, so I don't have to focus too much on the game. By the way, these loading screens are absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Uh, but the reason I'm sticking it on experts is because the AI in this game is absolutely brain dead, and the only real challenge, or even uh, way to go through the campaign with any challenge at all, is by making it so if the AI shoots you, you generally get hurt a lot and you'll die in a few hits. But yeah, I mean the art and stuff in this game is very nice. We'll uh, generally... Uh, this will be much more of a relaxed playthrough instead of trying to go through the mechanics of the game and everything like that because, well, there's generally no point. I don't think it's a game that a lot of people will revisit. Uh, it did come out some time ago, and it was on offer recently, I was actually looking. And uh, if it's on offer, like if, you know, two, three, four dollars, which I believe it was uh, a few weeks ago, maybe during a summer sale for Steam if it comes out, because it is on Steam, uh, I would definitely say go pick it up. This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. My name is Robert. There are not many games which are focused Warfare around single player. Broadcast. That, uh, I would say you shouldn't pick up for two to three dollars, especially, uh, World War II games, because generally, I mean, they're still worth two to three dollars, I mean, that's what, half a, half a burger at McDonald's? I think, uh, I think you can justify that. with them, fought with them, and seen the sacrifices they've made in the name of freedom. I have Good old freedom. their stories, and now they must be told. This is a story of resistance. Resistance against the tyranny. That is uh, the Nazi regime. Rotate camera, as you can see, it's very, very quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I like to play on high sensitivity on this, just because uh, the iron sights are pretty useful. I am following you, so you have to move, though. There we go. Got a nice Colt 45 and what seems to be some kind of assault rifle. Let's get down. Uh, Clates will refill your ammo. The tutorial, which is this little bit, is actually not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, but let's... Shoot this guy in the head. Hello, anybody else there? Oh, th yeah, there you are. Let's just get down once again. How are you doing, everyone? 
Uh, one of the issues with this game is that the frame rate can be a bit jumpy sometimes. Uh, only going from 30 to 60, but that may screw up the recording since I record at 30. So uh, if you see little jumps or little screen tearing and stuff, that that's probably not the uh, the YouTube, the issues that YouTube has. It's probably the game itself. So yeah, just or, or sorry, uh, the recording actually, not the game itself. So uh, just keep that into account. We are getting shot up. Do we have to go? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, oops, wrong button. There we go. Space the vaults. For some reason, my keyboard thinks that tab is pressed. You've a way of cheating death, my friend. Hell yeah. And some skill with a firearm for a writer. I was in Spain. That's what I'm here for, baby. And there was France. France. The Spanish That's Civil War. Come on, Hawkins. Oop. We haven't got all day. I moved up a bit. <laughs> moved up a bit quick there, and actually uh, cut off his script. Sorry about that, buddy. Hold F to enter sewers. Hold F to pay respects. Never forget. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, Voices from hold, the press F to pay respects. You went through my things. I'm just jotting down some thoughts, observations, really. Ooh, do you think I'm against the resistance? That cuts both ways. Mind you, remember that in your observations. Yeah, maybe the people writing the articles about this before it was released, maybe they should have, uh, maybe they should have listened to that. That's good. Writing can be a double-edged sword. A very powerful double-edged sword. It's an interesting... An interesting little spider web there. The light looks nice, you know. Oh, we're also playing this on ultra-high quality, so this is the highest you'll see. Obviously, YouTube isn't great since it's, uh... You know, it doesn't always show how good a game looks, but this game, you know, it, it's made in the cry engine. It looks quite nice. Uh, I've also got water on my face. The policy of your President Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, we are taking Saint Cross Church. We will take the Nazis by surprise from two points of entry. If you want to, uh, if you want to find something uh, really interesting. Uh, whenever, whenever we're talking to this guy, just stare at his face and just look what his face does. It's really weird. It's as if uh, it's supposed to be looking over here and then over here and that's it. Instead of actually looking at us. So it, he always has this like far, far look, like as if he's looking behind us, like and realize something awful has just happened. He's also his uh, the way he. Uh, What's the word? Not accentuizes. But basically, uh, some of the words he makes. Which do you prefer? Ooh. Uh, we shall go with the car 98, sir. Exactly. But the way he uh, accentuates or enhances certain words is uh, kind of interesting because it's kind of completely wrong. Uh, tunnel to storage or tunnel to prison? Let's go to the prison, baby. That sounds good. Rescue the church parson from prison. I might stop talking uh, between when they're talking, because it's actually pretty good. T to throw a stone. Noise made by the stone will distract enemy attention. Oh, calm yourself. Oh, shit. Nothing's here. You didn't hear a thing, baby. Is that me walking around? No, that's them. Okay, so we're going to go down here since there's probably no Germans down here. But we still will be able to hear them. Hopefully there's none down here. I mean, there seems to be quite a large hole in this wall, so you'd think that maybe there was an explosion, maybe they would have heard us. We'll just, uh, we'll just get up. And just go about. Ooh! That's a, ooh dear, hello. Okay, so there's a guy there. We obviously don't want to run into him. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible just to actually make the game kind of interesting. Uh, okay, as you can see there is an a, uh, a bar which basically shows 
how much the enemy can see you. It's really weird uh, for me when they see when you have something like that in game. So when the bar fills and they actually start shooting at you, uh, if you oh we can climb up. Anybody here? There is somebody, but we will climb up. We can't go the other two ways because there's people there. Uh, okay, so there's somebody who can just see us. We are out though. If I shoot this gun, it's not exactly got a massive silencer on it, so... I don't know, it's not going to do too well. Oh, shit. Well, it looks like we're going to be in a firefight. Hello, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Yes, yes. Run over here if you must. Fall down my hole. I'm waiting for you, baby. I know you're there. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> but yeah, well, one of the... One of the big issues with this game is that you can kind of funnel all of the Germans into a choke point. So, like, if, um... Let's say you shoot one, right? Just like I did. Then they'll all run to where that guy died. And then if they see you and you're down a tunnel or a hole, then... I shoot that guy. Oh, dear. Is that guy shooting me? Where's that coming from? You can funnel them down alleyways, as shown here, where they will all come through this door, one by one, and I can just kill them all. That'll clear the area. Hey, baby. There is somebody over there. I do really like the Car 98 uh, in this game, though. Uh, not just using it, but um, it sounds really nice, and it looks really nice. The iron sights is also really nice, so why not use it? Let's see. Seems like we cleared out most of the people in this area. I can pick up a different car 98 because why the hell not? I feel like we've sorted this area out, otherwise they would have come out. We're 60 meters away from where we have to be. I'm too fat! God damn it. Need to get on some of those lean beans so we can actually fit through the window. Well, let's see. There are secrets and stuff in the game, which is really, uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, it, it adds a little bit of replayability. Uh, the, it means that if you want to go around all of it, it, g it gives you an incentive to. Uh, so having little things like that is good. JU87's coming in. That's a lot of smoke over there. That's a poor building. Uh, so, let's see if there are actually any Germans, or did we just clear them all out? Who knows? We'll stay crouched. I can hear somebody moving with their little footsteps. Looks like we have to go through there. Uh, Alright, let's just check the windows. Nobody on that side. Ooh, nice flag. Alright, it looks like I can't see anyone, so we'll just... We'll have a gander. Hello. Some nice ammo for us. Okay, so there's quite a few of them out here. Do we have to shoot them, or can we go around? I can hear somebody whistling. Oh, and there's this mechanic as well. So the mechanic is, uh, if somebody makes noise, then you can shoot while uh, noise is being made, and then they won't know where the bullets come from. No only got it to work once, though. Only once. Right, so, planes going overhead. So they shouldn't know where that came from, right? Guess what? They all do. He just shot me straight in the head, the bastard. Right, I'm going to show you how brain dead the AI is. So, I'm going to hide here. One. Let's just reload. Come on. Two. Oh, he actually hid near the door. Good for him. Three. We can keep going. I can clear out the whole area doing this. Because for some reason, they don't realize that you can't do it. Now, there is a machine gun, so obviously I can't clear that out. But yeah, they'll just keep coming through the door. If you let them. 
But obviously I'm not going to do that, because that's really, really, really boring and really tiresome. I think I already did as well. I mean, who's left? Oh, there's a ladder. Alright, once again, press F to pay respects to the ladder. Let's go. Oh, we've got a little sniping position up here. Isn't that nice? Do we actually get a sniper, though? Or do we have to use our car 98s? Now, as you can see, they don't know where I am now. Uh, because I've been out of sight for a bit. So that, you know, it's a nice little mechanic. We do have the guy on the MG42. But yeah, I cleared out everyone in this area by waiting down that little uh, room. Shoot the guy in the MG. Oh no. This guy. He's not very good at hiding, but at least he didn't funnel through. And yeah, that's it. I think that's all of them dealt with. Let's move on. Might be wrong, there might be one more. Oh, that didn't sound very fun. Yeah, that's... I mean, if, if you want to play the game like that, we're on the hardest difficulty, remember? You can do that. Uh, it's obviously not very fun, but in hard situations, there are definitely some hard situations. Ooh. Guess what you can paint. Hell yeah, get that chalk out. And kind of draw where you're actually putting stuff. You can also breach. Hold F. Let's go. F is used a lot. Hello. Right. Come on. There we go. The wonderful slow-mo. Didn't kill that guy. Definitely killed him now. So, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that area stealthily. <laughs> to be honest, when you have to breach. But we've killed the three who were here. Uh oh. Oh, hello. Once again, great hiding from the AI. Uh, they only seem to ever get half of their body behind anything. So you don't really have to worry about stuff like that. Them being competent, of course. Let's get... Oh, hello. Nice of you to stand up, sir. Shot that guy through the wall. That's nice. Uh, there are certain things you can shoot through. That guy's just stood in the middle of the... In the middle of the room. Just remember, folks. Hardest difficulty. I'll probably go on about this quite a lot. Uh, but where was... Oh, there he is. I can see his head. Nice hiding. Oh, he's popped out. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh. There's another one. Uh, one, one good thing is that they don't keep their accuracy over range. So, um, if you are at range with a uh, with a machine gun, it actually does lose a lot of its capabilities, which is nice. Uh, also, you know, accuracy does play a part. Like, you shouldn't just auto-fire, you should burst fire. Car 98s are obviously going to be very accurate, which is why I like using them. Uh, they're, they're very useful in this game. Oh, hello, did you just pop out of nowhere? How did that miss? Doesn't matter. Shot him in the head. You uh, had your chance. He's killing a priest. I'm not gonna let you talk. Oh dear. Move your hand, sir. No, it don't matter. Wait, what? What? I shot him in the head. Why did it shoot the other guy in the head? Oh well. My left hand has gone numb for some reason. Alright, so we have to do that again. <laughs> because I am... Um, I may have shot the priest. We're supposed to be saving the priest. Alright, let's shoot that guy in the head. Reload, baby. Reload. As you can see, car 98. Not great at breaching, but it still did the job. We'll just use the car 98 in the next pick, just to make sure that we don't shoot that guy in the head. A lot of the AI will go to exactly the same spots that they were at, so we don't really have to worry about that. Hello. Where are you? Oh. In exactly the same spot. Oh, and there's your friend. And... Oh, we missed. Right. Pop up. Thank you, sir. Oh, missed that guy. <clears throat> That's not great. Uh, but we've reloaded. We're ready for action once again. Come on. Hello. Hello. There's your mate as well. Oops, I missed him. And then there's you. 
See, they don't know where I am, even though I'm shooting all these guys in the same direction. They should at least have an inkling, you know? Oh, somebody sees me. Where are they? Are they down there? Hello? Probably. 